ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ادى الامانه ونصح الامه وكشف الغمه وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى اتاه اليقين اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ما brothers and sisters in islam ما brothers and sisters in iman fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he should be feared and do not die except as a muslim except as a mu'min and employ every mean in your disposal to make sure that you do not die except on the state of iman except on the state of islam my brothers and sisters in Islam it is from the universal way of Allah it is from the sunan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is from the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to test the ranks of the believers before victory before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants victory to anyone before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives victory to anyone before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises the ranks of the people on this earth, He puts them through a harsh and hard and tough test. He puts them through trials and calamities. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can sort out the good from the filth. To see who is really concerned and who is not concerned. Who is really living amongst his ummah and who is turning away from his ummah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala test the believers sometimes in a hard test. So when they attain victory, so when the victory comes to them and they attain victory, they know it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they deserve it. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them the tamkeen on this earth, gives them the power to rule, gives them the upper hand and the authority. A man came to the Imam al-Shafi'i. A man came to Imam al-Shafi'i asked ya aba abdullah ayyuma afdal lil rajuli an yumakkana aw yubtala which is the best for a man to be given authority in the land and power of ruling in the land or he is stricken with calamities qal listen to this hikmah listen, listen to the words of Muhammad ibn Idris al-Shafi'i, the real scholar of Islam, who understood the Sharia very well, and understood the objectives of the Sharia, and understood the soul and the spirit of the Sharia, and understood the reality of the Sharia, he uttered with words should be written in gold, and remembered by every sincere da'i and every sincere Muslim when he said, لا يمكن حتى يبتلى 
a man would not be given tamkin, would not be given power, would not be given authority until he is stricken with calamities and trials and tested. يقول رحمه الله فإن الله ابتلى نوحا وإبراهيم وموسى وعيسى ومحمدا صلوات الله وسلامه عليهم أجمعين فلما صبروا مكنهم he said Allah سبحانه وتعالى indeed he trialed and he sent down calamities upon نوح and إبراهيم and موسى وعيسى and محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم when they were patient about the calamities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gave him the tamkeen, gave him the power and the authority. Let us take a quick look in the life of our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let us see the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and see the phases of calamities that he went through before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the victory and see the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My respect to the brothers and sisters. The quick victory when it comes to mankind, people do not differentiate the haqqa from the batil. And the ranks would not be separated. You cannot distinguish the ranks very easily when the victory comes quick. But when it takes so much hard work and perseverance and patience to attain victory and authority in the land, only the few who deserve it will gain it. Let's look at Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's analyze the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the calamities that he went through, and we can't go into much because the time would not help us in this khutbah. Let me give you a few points very quickly. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was victorious in the battle of Badr, many people started to enter Islam. Many people started to accept Islam and enter Islam. Yet, some of them were not too sincere. Some of them were not too accepting of Islam. But they had to because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the dominant power at the moment. And people by nature, they like to follow the victorious one, the powerful one. And the hypocrites, because they are cowards, they always like to join the powerful ones. The battle of Uhud came. The loss befell the Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent upon the Muslims calamities in the battle of Uhud. Here, hypocrisy came out from its shell. And they showed themselves. And they become apparent. Because after Badr, if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was to win another battle, how can we sort out the hypocrite from the sincere ones? Subhanallah al -Azim. Not until the battle of Uhud where hypocrisy revealed and showed the reality and what is in their heart. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentioned in this Battle ayat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said. قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ سُنًا فَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَانْظُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ Sunan before you. Generations before you. Has passed. Go walk in the land. And see what has happened to the liars. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthening the believers. And then he said, إِنْ يَمْسَسْكُمْ قَرْحٌ فَقَدْ مَسَّ الْقَوْمَ قَرْحٌ مِثْلُهُ وَتِلْكَ الْأَيَّامُ نُدَاوِلُهَا بَيْنَ النَّاسِ وَلْيَعْلَمَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَيَتَّخِذَ مِنْكُمْ شُهَدَاءُ وَاللَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الظَّالِمِينَ وَلْيُمَحِّصَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَيَمْحَقَ الْكَافِرِينَ If harms have touched you, if a calamity has touched you now, already calamity had touched them before and they are tasting the pain and these are the days that we move them and circulate them between the people one day you're a victorious and one day you are a loser 
And this is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Why, ya Allah? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would know the true believers, the sincere one, al-sadiqeen, al-mu'mineen, al-mujahideen fi sabilillah, and also to take from your martyrs. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can choose from this safwa, from this few martyrs who will give him the highest of reward. And Allah does not love the oppressors. And the surah continue to say, وَلْيُمَحِّصَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا So he can test the believers. وَيَمْحَا الْكَافِرِينَ And to demolish and destroy the kafirin. Look how the ayat describe to us that it is a test for the believers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's taken from our brothers and sisters in Suriyah at the moment. He's taken from our brothers and sisters from Hims at the moment, shuhada, dying fi sabilillah, attaining the highest of reward. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept him from the shuhada. Look at this test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my respect to the brothers and sisters in Islam. Look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested the companions and how Allah is testing our brothers and sisters in Suriya, in Bilad al-Sham with calamities. And listen to the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Listen to the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He sent down for every time and every place. Am hasibtum an tadkhulu al-jannah? وَلَمَّا يَأْتِكُمْ مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ خَلَوْا مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ مَسَّتْهُمُ الْبَأْسَاءُ وَالضَّرَّاءُ وَزُلْزِلُوا حَتَّى يَقُولَ الرَّسُولُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ مَتَى نَصْرُ اللَّهِ أَلَا إِنَّ نَصْرَ اللَّهِ قَرِيبٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He called it zilzal A great shaking An earthquake A great shaking beneath their feet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Am hasibtum an tadkhulu al-jannah. You think, you assume you're going to enter the jannah. And when the example of the generations before you come to you, the examples of the companion of peop our people of Suriya, the example of the people in Uhud or Suriya, the example of the companions in the battle of Uhud, oh my brothers and sisters in Bilad al-Sham. The example of the companions in Surah Al-Ahzab, in the Khandaq, in the trenches. Oh my brothers and sisters in Islam. Oh my brothers and sisters Mujahideen fi Bilad al-Sham. When the example comes. وَلَمَّا يَأْتِكُمْ مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ خَلَوْ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ مَسَّتْهُمُ الْبَأْسَاءُ وَالضَّرَّاءُ وَزُلْزِلُوا Al-Baqsaa has touched them. The hardship. وَالضَّرَّاءُ The harm has touched them, وزلزلوا, and they were shaken, and they were shaking with a great zilzal, Allah called it, a destructive earthquake, Allah called it, حتى يقول الرسول, until the messenger himself, متى والذين آمنوا معه, and the ones who believed with him, متى نصر الله, when is the victory of Allah coming, when the victory of Allah coming, our people of Hims, when the victory of Allah coming, oh my brothers and sisters in Suriya, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ala inna nasr Allahi qareeb. Indeed, the victory of Allah is near. The victory of Allah is around the corner. We just have to be patient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you. I want you, my brothers and sisters in Islam, the one who are listening to me at the moment, the one who are watching me at the moment, to draw the line and to think with your mind and apply this ayat that I'm going to recite upon your ears. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, describing the situation of the companion inside the trenches in Ghazwat al-Khandaq, in Ghazwat al-Ahzab, when they were surrounded with the kuffar, when Bani Nadir, the Jews, and Bani Ghatafan, and the tribe of Ghatafan, and others ganged up on the Muslims. And Banu Quraydah, the Yahud, and that's their sunnah in every time and place, nullified their covenant. And listen to how Allah described it, and I want you to think with your mind. A man with his wife and five children, three young girls and two young boys, 
inside their house. Surrendered by the army of the filthy Kafir Murtad An Sabilillah Bashar al Assad, him and his ilk like sick dog killing the innocent and the weak. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu. Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu. Dhkuru ni'mat Allahi alaykum. Ith jaaatkum junoodun. Fa arsalna alayhim rihan wa junoodan lam tarawha. Wa kana Allahu bima ta'amaluna basira. O ye who have believed. Remember the blessing of Allah upon you. When different troops came towards you and Allah sent upon them wind, a strong wind and troops that you did not see. And indeed Allah is all seer of whatever you do. ومن أسفل منكم وزاغت الأبصار وبلغت القلوب الحناجر وتظنون بالله الظنون هنالك هنالك ابتلي المؤمنون وزلزلوا زلزالا شديدا Listen to the ayat my brothers and sisters in Islam When they came to you from above you and from beneath you Look at this family that I mentioned to you a weak husband that have nothing to defend himself with. A weak woman that had nothing to defend herself with. A three girls who feeling upon their safety. And two little boys who would not know what's going on. They're not even old enough to understand what this tyrant is doing. They said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, when they come from above you, striking you with missiles above your head, and from beneath you their troops is running after you. الأبصار, and the eyes grew wide out of what? Out of fear. Out of fear for the safety of their wife and their children. Out of safety to their possession and to everything they worked for. Out of fear to the simplest things in life which is to live safely with dignity the companions when they were in the trenches do you think they were thinking about themselves when their eyes grew wild or they're thinking about their families and their wife and their children if Banu Quraidha and Ghatafan and Quraysh would take hold of them what would they do to their families that's what they were worried about the companions radiallahu anhum and that was what we worry about our brothers and sisters in Hims, our brothers and sisters in Surya. And the hearts reached the throat out of fear. You started to doubt the victory of Allah, doubt the support of Allah. This is when the believers were stricken with calamity with calamity, with calamity. This is when the believers were stricken with calamity, my brothers and sisters in Islam. This is when Al-Ibtila comes. This is when our brothers and sisters, now they feeling the balwa. وَزُلْزِلُوا زِلْزَالًا شَدِيدًا And they were shaken with a great shaking. Allah Almighty, Al-Jabbar calls it Zulzal Shadid. A strong, stern, Powerful earthquake beneath their feet from the fear, from the fear of towards their safety, from the fear for their life and the life of their wives and children. And this is Al Ibtila. It's only after the hardship and the calamity the victory would come. And my own little humble ishtihad. My own small opinion that the people of Syria and the people of Afghanistan, they were let down by many, many, many people. And they were let down by many Muslims. And were let down by any support internationally. Because these two, the people of Bilad al-Sham and the people of Khurasan, they're the ones who are going to bring back the Khilafah bi idnillah. They're the ones who's going to bring back Al-Hukmu bima anzalallah. Because one day when they uphold the banner of La ilaha illallah, when they uphold the banner of Islam, when they uphold the banner of Tawheed, no one can say without us you wouldn't be there. They've done it themselves. And they paid the price themselves. And that's why the victory, bi would come on their hands. 
and they will bring the victory on their hands because it is by themselves alone with the help of Allah they are going to be the ones who bring back the Khilafah bi idnillah listen to the ayat in Surah Al-Ahzab how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed us after this zilzal after this great calamity what has happened what was the outcome what was the result Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَرَدَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِغَيْذِهِمْ لَمْ يَنَالُوا خَيْرًا and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned the disbelievers with their rage and they haven't attained any good وَكَفَ اللَّهُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الْقِتَالِ and Allah sufficed the believers in that battle from fighting وَكَانَ اللَّهُ قَوِيًّا عَزِيزًا indeed Allah is the all-powerful, the almighty and listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَأَنزَلَ الَّذِينَ ظَاهَرُوهُمْ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ مِنْ صَيَاسِيِّهِمْ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought down their allies from the people of their from the people of the book from their forts. وَقَذَفَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمُ الرُّعْبِ And Allah stricken fear in their heart. So that Nusayri, that filthy Nusayri, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is striking fear in, the, in his heart. That's why he's showing his fangs and he's trying to destroy anyone who says, please, we want our freedom. He's trying to suck the blood of anyone who says, we want our freedom, we want to live with dignity as Muslims. The fear in his heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala streaking the fear in his heart. You are more fearful to them and you strike more fear in their heart from Allah himself. Subhanallah al-Azim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Fariqan ta'qtulun وَتَأْسُرُونَ فَرِيقًا Look at the blessing of Allah. You will kill a group of them and you will take as captives a group of them. وَأَوْرَثَكُمْ أَرْضَهُمْ O oh, people of Surya, Allah said, Allah will make you inherit their land. وَدِيَارَهُمْ And their homes. وَأَمْوَالَهُمْ And their wealth. وَأَرْضًا لَمْ تَطَعُوهَا Even land that you never thought of, nor you stepped a foot, nor you trotted. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرًا Indeed, Allah is qadir, able over everything and powerful over everything. You have to trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this hardship, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to reward you, that He will make you inherit with this hardship, with this calamity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is striking fear in their hearts and He will make you Kill the ones who killed you, and he will make you take captives, the ones who killed you, and the ones who oppressed you, and he will give you and make you inherit their land, and their homes, and their wealth, and even a land that you never, you never trotted before. Ikhwani fi Allah. My brothers and sisters in Islam, let's take, let's take another example. The example of Talut. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَلَمَّا فَصَلَ تَعْلُوتُ بِالْجُنُودِ When Talut set out with the army, قَالَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مُبْتَلِيكُمْ بِنَهَرِ فَمَنْ شَرِبَ مِنْهُ فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي وَمَنْ لَمْ يَطْعَمْهُ فَهُوَ مِنِّي إِلَّا مَنْ اغْتَرَفَ غُرْفَةً بِيَدِهِ Talut said to the army, Allah is trialing you and testing you with the river. A test before you meet Goliath. Because only the few deserve to fight against and be victorious against the oppressor. فَمَنْ شَرِبَّ مِنْهُ فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي Whomever fails the test and drinks from it, he's not from amongst me. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَطْعَمْهُ فَهُوَ مِنِّي And whomever does not taste it or drink anything from it, he is from me. إِلَّا مَنْ اغْتَرَفَ غُرْفَةً بِيَدِهِ Except who has a small scoop with his hand. فَشَرِبُوا مِنْهُ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا They drank from the river except few. And that is the sunnah of Allah. Majority of the people turn away. Majority of the people disobey. Majority of the people reject. فَلَمَّا جَاوَزَهُ هُوَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ And when they passed the river and crossed the river, him and the ones who believed with him, another test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They said, قَالُوا لَا تَاقَتَ لَنَا الْيَوْمَ بِجَالُوتَ وَجُنُودِهِ 
today we have no energy nor we feel like to fight Jalud, Goliath and his army. A group of them, a small group who have certainty they are going to meet Allah. كم من فئة قليلة غلبت فئة كثيرة بإذن الله والله مع الصابرين. How many small group of people defeated a big group of people by the permission of Allah and by the will of Allah and indeed Allah is with the patient one. My brothers and sisters in Islam, how after the death of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, after the death of our beloved, our leader. Our example, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after he passed away, Arabia erupted. The munafiqeen turned away. Many people turned to apostate, except few, small number. But this is a small number who stuck with the first Khalifa, Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu. That small number that stuck with him. After the calamity came down on the Muslims, the first one, the death of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then many people failed the test and they turned back. Another calamity came on the smaller group of believers that the majority has left them and turned their back on them. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He was preparing them for victory. He was preparing them to carry the banner of Tawheed inside Qisra. He was preparing them to be the leaders who eradicate and wipe out Qisra and raise the, and raise the banner of La ilaha illallah and raise the banner of Tawheed and raise the banner of Islam. It is not the hypocrites. It is not the ones who came, for, who came to Islam for maslaha. It is not the one who came for Islam for a dunya benefit. It is not the ones who become religious for positions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested them to see which, which group of people from all this ummah is qualified to carry the banner of La ilaha illallah, to carry the banner of Tawheed, to carry the banner of Islam. And they all stood with Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. Even if it meant that the dogs would drag the feet of the mothers of the believers through the streets of Medina. And also the wives of the companions. They stuck beside him. And they fought the apostate. And they fought the renegades. And they bring him back to Islam. And those, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose leaders from them. To go and deliver and take Islam to the world. And bring down Kisra and turn it to Islam. And conquer most of the world. They are the ones who were tested with Abu Bakr radiallahu anhum. Mention their names. Test their names and see who were they. And how they took Islam to the world. It is not till after the calamity. Of the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is not till after the calamity. When the people turned apostate, they stuck by Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. And then they were the ones who are qualified to carry the banner of La ilaha illallah. And what we're seeing today, my brothers and sisters in Islam, what we are witnessing today, my brothers and sisters in Islam, what we're hearing today, my brothers and sisters in Islam, all over the Muslim world, we will always find this group of people who are stand out, that no country, no government is supporting them. Hardly anyone is supporting them properly. No countries. No one is supporting them. This is for a hikmah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then when the victory comes on their hands, they have paid the price for it. And they withstood the test when it came down on them. And they defeated the oppression. And they faced up to the calamity and the trials. اللهم إنا نسألك بأسمائك الحسنى وصفاتك العلى أن تنصر إخواننا في سوريا أقول ما تسمعون وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله إخواني في الله يقول المولى عز وجل ألف لام ميم أحسب الناس أن يتركوا أن يقولوا آمنا وهم لا يفتنون ولقد فتن الذين من قبلهم 
وليعلمن الله الذين صدقوا وليعلمن الكاذبين ألف لام ميم Do the people assume or think they will be let and left to say we believed and they're not going to be tested and trialed as we did and we tested the ones before so the ones before them so Allah would know who are the truthful ones and who are the liars Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it a sunnah that he would test the people he would trial the people he would see where the people allegiance is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not give the authority, the tamkeen on this land and the power on this land to establish his sharia on the hands of the weak or on the hands of the one who are sitting on the fence or the ones who haven't decided in which camp they belong to or the ones one day with this camp and the second day on the other camp in the morning they are believers and at night they are kuffar and they wake up as believers and they sleep as kuffar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not give the victory to those kind of people. The Muslim has to decide is he with the camp of the kuffar or the camp of the believers? And the brothers in Surya today, the calamity they are facing, there is no in the middle, there is no in between. You are either supporting your brothers and sisters in Islam or you are supporting the other camp. The ulama need to speak up. The brothers need to work tirelessly to support them with their wealth, with themselves, with their dua, with anything they can. So they can stand strong against this tyrant. So you can taste, if one day the khilafah comes, you can taste the sweetness of it and say, I worked for this. I am part of this. Alhamdulillah, I supported with five dollars. It seems small. You hear sometimes a brother in Islam, and we experience them, asking for a hundred dollars to give to the weak and, and the sick, and the ones who are driven out from their houses for a hundred dollars. He gives it to you as if he's giving you sadaqah. But he has no issue to spend a hundred dollars on a steak and chips. He has no issue to buy shoes for his wife worth two thousand dollars. A handbag worth $2,000, a dress worth $2,000. But when you ask him for $200, Wallahi, if it is your wife that has been raped, if it is your daughter that has been raped, if it is your son that has been cut up to pieces, you will fight with every nail that you have. But you haven't tasted pain. You're living an affluent life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you would not know when he takes everything from beneath your feet and you beg for a medicine and you can't afford it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala biyadihi al-mulk. He has the ownership. It is time now we Muslims, we stand together. Let us stop fighting and bickering about small things. Let us stop fighting and bickering about whether the masbaha is bid'ah or not. Whether this is bid'ah or not. How length and how long is my bid? It's all sunnah. But today the ummah going through a big changes. We need to be part of these changes. We need to be one who make a change for the Ummah, even as simple as five dollars, a hundred dollars, million dollars, whatever money you can afford to support your brothers and sisters. There's no one that I talk to who are close and they know what's going on. They said, Wallah, we don't need men. We have enough men to eat the rocks and stones. We have real men. We don't need men. We need money. We need support. We need dua. We need you to be with us to feel that we are one ummah, the ummah of Muhammad, the ummah of la ilaha illallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah As-Safat, وَلَقَدْ سَبَقَتْ كَلِمَتُنَا لِعِبَادِنَا الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِنَّهُمْ لَهُمُ الْمَنْصُرُونَ وَإِنَّ جُنْدَنَا لَهُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ Our word has preceded to our messengers. They are the ones who are victorious. They are the ones who are going to attain victory. They are the ones who are going to gain victory. وَإِنَّ جُنْدَنَا And our army, our soldiers, our troops, لَهُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ They are the, the triumphant ones. They verily would be the victorious. You want to be part of this victory. You want to be part of this big victory. Then you need to support your brothers and sisters in Islam. You need to be part of this victory. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and listen to this ayah, and I seal my khutbah with it. Listen to this great ayah, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. تلك الدار الآخرة نجعلها للذين لا يريدون علوا في الأرض ولا فسادا والعاقبة للمتقين This is the hereafter This is the final adab We will give it to the ones who want no oppression in the land nor causing corruption in the land and the end result is for ibad is for the slaves is for the ones who have taqwa the ones who really fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So insha'Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi'idhni, He's going to make the victory comes from Surya. And the victory comes from our brothers and sisters who sacrifice everything fi sabilillah. So we say, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Malik, يا قدوس يا سلام يا مؤمن يا مهيمن يا عزيز يا جبار يا متكبر يا خالق يا بارئ يا مصور يا ناصر انصر إخواننا في سوريا اللهم ثبت أقدامهم اللهم انصرهم على عدوهم اللهم ثبت أقدامهم اللهم اجعلهم هم المنصورون اللهم اجعلهم من جندك الغالبون اللهم اشف مرضاهم وداوي جرحاهم وسد خطاهم وسدد رميهم وقوي عزيمتهم ووحد بين قلوبهم وانصرهم على عدوهم يا الله يا الله يا واحد يا أحد يا صمد يا قادر يا ظاهر يا باطن يا والي يا متعال يا بر اللهم انصرهم يا الله اللهم انصرهم نصرا نصرا مؤزرا اللهم يا جبار يا من دمرت عادا وثمود وهزمت الأحزاب وأغرقت فرعون وأنجيت موسى اللهم دمر الأسد ومن لف مفه وعمل معه وأفتى له وسانده اللهم دمرهم تدميرا اللهم أرنا فيهم يوما أسودا اللهم أرنا فيهم يوما أسودا اللهم رمر لساءهم ويتم أطفالهم واقتلهم قتل عاد وثمود يا الله اللهم دمرهم يا الله اللهم وانصر إخواننا المجاهدين في كل مكان اللهم وانصر إخواننا المجاهدين في كل مكان وعلي راية الت توحيد على أيدي إخواننا المجاهدين في سبيل الله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد واقم الصلاة اللهم إنا نسألك بأسمائك وصفاتك العلا يا قوي يا عزيز يا من أعطيت النصرة لمحمد وصحبه يوم بدر ويوم الأحزاب ويوم حنين وفتحت لهم مكة ويا من أعطيت النصرة لعمر رضي الله عنه بفتح الشام وفتح كسرى أعط النصرة لإخواننا في سوريا اللهم ادفع عنهم كل مكروه اللهم ساندهم يا الله اللهم ليس لهم ليس لهم أحد يعاونهم إلا أنت يا الله أنت الرحمن فارحمهم أنت الرحيم فارحمهم أنت القوي فقوهم أنت الرزاق فارزقهم أنت القوي يا الله أنت الأحد يا الله أنت الواحد يا الله أنت الكبير يا الله أنت العزيز يا الله لا إله إلا أنت يا الله اللهم انصر إخواننا في سوريا اللهم انصرهم نصرا مؤزرا اللهم دمر عدوهم وأعداءهم يا الله اللهم دمر بشار الأسد اللهم دمر من وقف معه اللهم دمر علماء السوء الذين يفتون له اللهم أرنا فيهم يوما أسودا اللهم دمرهم تدميرا اللهم أغرقهم كما أغرقت آل فرعون يا الله اللهم دمرهم كما دمرت الأحزاب يا الله اللهم دمرهم كما دمرت عادا وثمود اللهم دمرهم تدميرا اللهم تدمرهم دم تدميرا اللهم وانصر المجاهدين في سبيل في كل مكان اللهم وحد قلوبهم على أطقاهم اللهم داوي جرحاهم وفك أسراهم اللهم وانصر عائل عائلاتهم يا الله 
اللهم وقو الإيمان في قلوبهم اللهم اجعلهم جع... اللهم اجعل قلوبهم كجبل أحد يا الله لا يتزعزع ولا ينهز يا الله اللهم واعطهم النصرة من عندك أنت الناصر أنت القادر أنت الوحي أنت ال... أنت الذي لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد واقم الصلاة اللهم أغرقهم كما أغرقت آل فرعون يا الله اللهم دمرهم كما دمرت الأحزاب يا الله اللهم دمرهم كما دمرت عادا وثمود اللهم دمرهم تدميرا اللهم تدمرهم دم تدميرا اللهم وانصر المجاهدين في سبيلك في كل مكان اللهم وحد قلوبهم على أطقاهم اللهم داوي جرحاهم وفك أسراهم اللهم وانصر عائل عائلاتهم يا الله اللهم وقو الإيمان في قلوبهم اللهم اجعلهم جع... اللهم اجعل قلوبهم كجبل أحد يا الله لا يتزعزع ولا ينهز يا الله اللهم واعطهم النصرة من عندك أنت الناصر أنت القادر أنت الوحي أنت ال... أنت الذي لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد واقم الصلاح